Welcome to camping with me for today at the West Coast Campsite 3. There's only one place that you can camp uh, in West Coast Park. Right over here, I'm going to share with you. Today is Monday. There's one tent right over there and a very, very grand tent right over there. So the reason why I choose uh, to camp in West Coast alone because that here it has got not much facility, nothing much you can do, but uh, it's a good place that for you to test your tent whether it's good or not to go somewhere else. And this campsite is very, very small. Only this area, there's one uh, toilet over there. I just went there and checked. There's only one uh, shower facility. I will share with you how the uh, shower toilet facility looks like. It can be a very good place for a family camp because the playground is over there. And uh, you can, if you love uh, bird watching and uh, wild animal things, over there there's a lot of birds, uh, otters, and uh, snakes sometimes. And behind there will be a McDonald's 24 hours. So I did not bring any food. Actually, I left my food uh, at the guard house there just now. I asked Sean to collect the food already. So I can just get the food from the McDonald's just right at the back. And I'm uh, going to see where can I do the set. Uh, set up my tent so uh, you can see here is a high raised area so make sure that you don't camp somewhere low to like get water okay because that otherwise that like, your tent will be like a uh, flood inside so I suppose to camp uh, today in the morning but I went to the orchid garden and then I rescue a bird very very small bird and I will share with you about the bird in the uh, end of the video that how what you need to do when you rescue a bird so I decided to set up my tent right over there near to the toilet i'm going to share with you the sleep quality with this new tent from decathlon fresh and black so setup is very easy so i believe that uh it's perfect for one person to tent set up the camp because that anytime i want to go back anytime i want to um, tear down it can be easily done so what i need to do is just unfold it from this side I tried uh, set it up once, very easy. They unclip this side, unclip this side, and then also unclip one corner over here at the red, red buckle. Okay, then you can open the pen like this very fast. Ta -da. Okay. This is inside my tent. So I will set up something like this. Uh, I think I will not pin down because that it's going to rain. And okay, I have to stay away from the tree branches. I believe here is good enough and check underneath. Okay, got nothing. So because I'm going to have uh, two sleeping bags with me. So I have to make sure that the floor is soft enough for me. And now, maybe I turn around and show you what is the back. So this has a very good ventilation window. Actually, uh, let me see if I can unzip this area. Uh, okay, I can do it now, I think. Lovely. Let me untie this area. I was, did that uh, last time, but lazy to keep it up. Okay, and you can just cover up like this. Looks cool, right? So here's my tent for tonight. I will show you inside later. There is two more window for ventilation. It looks like this. And then like you can zip up and then got more air. And this one, of course, I can roll out again later. I'll show you how to do inside. Extra ventilation over here if you want fully cover. And another things for the window. I think I should do it slightly like this. Lovely, perfect. So let me go inside now. Okay, to camp is very important to bring extra cloth here. And this corner is for you to put your shoe. And later at night, I can just zip down. And then your shoe will not be uh, wet, although it's wet now. Now I'm inside my tent. I'm going to show you what you can get inside. So right over here, you can uh, put this cover up the window and then another window right over here for better air ventilations and 
right over here there's two pocket on the left and what I can store your handphone this is my camping permit I have print up before so I can just put it right over here in case any official need to check my uh, camping permit I can let them check another two pocket on my right oh, on the right um, I can put my mask I can put the sleeping bag cover and I can on the fan right over here I bring two fans in case like really stuffy at night and uh, you can also open up here for more ventilation but I believe it's fine I'm okay to uh, not to open this and here there's a hook so I can hook on my fans and then like I can blow the I mean, outside air for better ventilation as well now actually when the wind blow i can feel cold air and i have this fan uh this lamp and also built in the mosquito trap so you can see that i have not cleaned the mosquito trap yet <laughs> it's really worked on me and let's turn over here okay so if you really scared of mosquito yeah this is the net that is covered up from the mosquito and uh, it also has some shelter, kind of like shelter over here. So it's like I open up half part a little bit, should be fine. No water can drip in. And then, yeah, Ooh, something float in already. So I have a cloth for me to wipe my feet. I have uh, my sleeping bag right over here. Then I put whatever stuff right over here should be good enough it's quite spacious that like if i bring a big ice box container it still have space for me to leave whatever thing i want i still have a very big power bank it's good for a few days for sure so the power bank will be charged for my uh, mobile device and the, another extra fence i really scared of stuffy and hot uh, thing so now it's raining i will let you hear the uh, what is happening so yeah this is like canvas so it will have some tita 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 sound but it's not too bad i'm not sure when it's really heavy rain what will bad be happen one thing i like about this tent is that it's all black inside which means that uh, it happened to us last time camp in the east coast park the straight light is really bright it's almost like can't sleep so i hope that this really help a lot of my sleep uh, bring me a better sleep quality when it's uh, at night it can block all the light from the outside beside the campsite there's one drinking machines vending machines oh the handicap washroom is good it's quite spacious with fans and uh, feet washing area these are places for you to have your food here more convenient another vending machine for snacks let's go have a look with the meal washroom full side mirror Hi. and then uh yep urina and then toilet the shower area is like this is open air so it's still not too bad that uh, you can come over here camp and shower i have bought my dinner mcdonald <laughs> yeah i'm very silly that i left my food over at the guard house so but i'm quite lucky to camp in singapore because that the facility everywhere is, is quite convenient you can order the food delivery via the apps mcdonald's is 24 hours so shower is quite good water pressure very strong cold water but uh although it's raining outside to me i think it's perfect it's not too cold and i also forgot to bring my drinking water bottle so i bought a large uh, coca-cola and i'll keep the cup to refill the drinking water outside at the drinking kiosk so camping in singapore is quite okay because that um and everything is very convenient it's just that like the weather is unpredictable so uh it's still raining outside and i uh, can maybe tomorrow morning when the rain stops then i'll show you that uh what we can expect from the outside then later I will enjoy my dinner then I will just uh, forgot to bring my books <laughs> so I quite rushed today because I uh, rescued the bird took me some time to take care of the bird and then pass to the rescue team then I forgot everything so uh, I will be very very careful to go for the uh, Pulau Ubin 
I'll do a checklist. <laughs> can see there's a baby bird right over here. It's actually I rescued from the garden. It's a hedging bird that uh, fallen from the nets. So I'm going to show you where I found it. I found it right on this area. It's on the floor. So the Acras uh, rescue team is coming already. This is a pink net pigeon. Something very cute, very, very cute. So yeah, let's see what they can do with it. I found a father over here waiting for the baby. We found the nets is right over there, so we're going to find a way to get the ladder to set up the birds up. So we are going to have another plan. To... Oh. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah. It can be really dark inside the tent. It's really good. I'm happy with it because actually um, there's a street light over there. You still can uh, manage to see something on the... Oh, my neighbor is coming out for a walk. So I'm going to have my dinner now. It is uh, 8 p.m. now because of the raining. Uh, earlier and then the frog is like having good time meeting lots of sound and then oh neighbors like going out for a walk at rain mm -hmm. so i'm happy that um this stand currently uh do bring something to entertain yourself because uh we have 4g over here you can always watch uh, netflix all this at night uh, but do plan something to make your night easier uh, because it's still raining outside I can't really hang my tower but something cool that uh, I just cover up the tower and then like use my body temperature to dry up the tower so that uh, it's kind of a good thing when you have to look for a good wind direction before you set up the tent Actually, the wind is like blowing to this side towards me and the tent can move a little bit. I'm glad that I pin up the the string to like uh, stable the the tent. And I'm also very happy to have my fans over there. Only one fan is good enough to cool up the, the tent inside. It's chilling. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy my dinner first. Then I will... I quite annoyed by the sound from the plane i never expect that the plane will fly by this area uh, and i heard the ship horn a little bit but the plane is more annoying than the ship so let me enjoy my dinner <laughs> just woke up and brushed my tea went to the washroom uh, at night right over here can be slightly noisy a little bit when uh, some young kids walk by and like play the loudspeaker talk i have no idea why some people like walk around 12 a.m midnight uh but so far i still have a good sleep i woke up uh, 7 a.m it's very peaceful uh birds are chipping and there's there are three more uh 10 right over there side by side if you can see so i yeah this test is okay, so the tent is really waterproof. I woke up and then the tent outside is all wet and I believe that should be rain at night again. Yep, so I will try to explore a little bit uh, surrounding and see whether that this is a park good for camping. The view that you can see from the seaside is nothing much. It's a yacht club at the back and then and a lot of the industrial ship and some fishermen ship. I did not see this tent last night. I believe they came very late. And I also found out they also used the tent from Decathlon. So I'm going to have my breakfast back to my tent with McDonald's. I believe now the days that most of the people have no idea what is this black dot 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 dot. It's actually the eggs from the frogs. So last night raining and they made things and they leave the eggs. I just tried up the tent. I'm quite happy that I bought this like foldable peel that like I can wash the tent because that below it it was like full of mud as I set up the tent uh, was raining night and then now I'm going to fold back my tent okay I wash everything clean and I'm going to show you how fast that I can fold the tent back so right inside the tent, there's one red color string 
what I need to do is I need to drag the string out and then it will be fold into half like this and there is two buckle click the buckle there's one spider that follow me the same morning until now okay click the buckle and then there's another buckle underneath here let's click the buckle as well Here. Okay, put everything nicely inside. Oh, nicely. Oops, sorry. After you click the yellow buckle, what you need to do is you push this back down. Sorry. Push this down. Then you fold it and that's it. It's quite fast. After you fold everything nicely, oh, then you use the yellow string to secure the pen and you put it back. You zip out everything. Zip. And then. Sorry, I got one hand. It's a little bit difficult for me. So this is how my setup will be and I would say that uh, camping in West Coast Park is a little bit boring it is really not the place suitable for me um, the view at the back is nothing special it's just a playground that uh, good for kids shower facility is quite limited only one shower there is 24 hours McDonald's which is very good very near to the campsite I'm very happy to have this uh, tent because that is very uh, useful It's very quick setup and very quick to fold And I will say that this uh, camp is very good for beginners You come here and try everything uh, See whether the tent is waterproof The tent is easy to set up That's end crawl over my lens And then yeah, you will know that whether you suitable to camping or not so I hope you like this video, uh, ask me any question, I'll try to answer you and I'm going to say goodbye now. Bye bye! <music>